I'm still sleepy. I'm really hungry. Hey y'all, so we're waking up to day two, but before we go into day two, I did say that we went out the night before, so I wanted to show you the clip of that. 9.20 p.m. Seoul Standard Time. We have had entirely too much McJu and Soju, and now we're drinking coffees. And so, we're that we can <laughs> <laughs> so that we can drink more alcohol. Exactly, we're currently trying to determine if we're this trying thing to level behind us, if it's a Christmas tree, do you see that? Do you see that? We don't quite know what it is, but this is delightful. Let me show you the water and then I'll turn the video off. Look at that. You guys, this is incredible. I barely slept, like I said in the previous video. I decided I wanted to get up and see the sunrise because why not? It just seemed like such a climatic thing to do. Plus, the second day that we were there, we were actually going to be splitting up. I had actual business I had to do while I was there not just the the pleasure part I had a business meeting in the middle of the day and then I had a consultation at one of the universities there for a foreign language program and then I was supposed to meet up with some people and uh, conduct some interviews and things of that sort but I was running late I was running real real late it genuinely wasn't my fault um, it's because the very first meeting was very long, but it was well worth it, trust me. Uh, but yeah, back to the sunrise, eh? Fuck competition, we gon' get pop up, no bass and I'm born fly No kong a fashion, wajah bok wa lingo Kong a patient, that's sick, yo dope like the combination of a big pill Coke, Molly Nova King, son of your epic guy Yeah, fuck about the note of recognize Burn! I'm trying not to dance in the middle of the plaza. Can't help myself. That's my jam. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm still sleepy. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Waiting on the sun. Okay, well, honestly, what I failed at is the fact that I'm in a very densely populated city. So seeing the sun come up actually wasn't gonna work out too well but i mean at least i got a good morning walk in and saw popeyes and that kind of choked me up a bit praise god for all flow y'all i was so tripped out that it was a popeyes there and popeyes delivered like i just i can't <laughs> Why is there a Popeyes in Korea and it delivers? <laughs> uh oh. Woo, 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 woo. This is as loud as I've heard the city. Where are you going? Woo, 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 woo. I don't know what my excitement is about. You see how quiet it just got? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna head back now I don't know and try to get myself some breakfast it's not too uh, well no they don't start serving breakfast until 7 a.m. what am I gonna do for another hour is that a burger oh my god we had this really really nice uh buffet breakfast at the hotel in cool factoid there was a k-drama that was filmed at the hotel that we stayed at and i got a picture of the actual um like imagery from it that i'll i'll post i promise as soon as i find the photo but i know i have it because alita only was like oh my god you gotta take that like don't miss it alita was uh in the last few segments of her master's program in uh asian studies so she knows korean as well and uh it was just it was just cool to be able to have moments with her she's a drama watcher i'm not so much but we were still able to converse a lot about um, some of the characters and some of the scenery and things of that sort okay so we've had breakfast we look at our itineraries I got my phone um, I'm all about cacao talk and whatnot I start off with my day you know what 
what? No, never mind. I take that back because the overabundance of great food would probably be the death of me. Everywhere I look, there is like nom noms all over the place. So east, east is at an angle. So I'm gonna have to find somewhere. <laughs> look at this. Uh oh, hold up. Here we go. It's in four different languages three three different no four it was four four different languages but yeah i'm gonna have to find somewhere stationary in between all of the buildings so that i can try to get a picture of the sun coming over it oh, oh you guys you guys need to see this I head into a lunch meeting with a very dear uh, friend of mine, and she's also a professional mentor. So um, we have lunch in this amazing old style restaurant in this area that I just I can't even figure out. <laughs> I just I really don't know where it was located. I just know they saw her. It cleared the table immediately. Like, oh snap, we gotta, we gotta get our shit together. So we had a really good lunch and talked a lot. And um, she had to go one way, and I had to get to Hongdae because I had a meeting at the university out in Hongdae. And um, <laughs> she's like, well, hey, I got a driver. Uh, I'll have them drive you there so you won't be late. Okay, well, I ended up late anyway. Got kind of lost on the campus. <laughs> I got lost on the campus. I was twisted around. I finally found the proper building. Got in, had a conversation about uh, the program and whatnot, and realized it probably wouldn't be the best one for me. I'm not a young college student. I'm not the traditional age college student. So being at home day, where that's, you know, the happening spot, the clubs and whatnot, and I'm like, I just want to go Nodebang until 4 a.m., that's not the best spot for me. So I finished the consultation. I had my backpack. I walked all over that campus and whatnot in the surrounding area. And my allergies decided they were going to kick in and try to kill me on the low low. Then I finally was like, well, I need to... I need to meet up with one of my friends so let me come out of this Dunkin Donut or was it a car it was a Starbucks y'all it's so many coffee shops literally one by one it's just coffee all over the place <laughs> like if you want to get into the coffee business just you know go open one there and do it for a moment and when people stop coming it's gonna close and there's coffee shops all over the place. I was fully overwhelmed by that. Insanely overwhelmed by that. But I left the coffee place. And I was uh, crossing the street. And I bent down to tie my shoe. And I looked over and I saw these legs. And they were the same color as me. So I got excited. I look over I'm like, oh, oh, chin chow, where you go? <laughs> I thought it was a foreigner. I thought it was another black person, maybe Indian, maybe Hispanic, who knows. It was a Korean. So all of this joy and passion for this pearl-esque ivory skin and whatnot, I saw a whole bunch of people who were the same shade as me and their hair looked like mine. So all this magic that y'all see on these K-pop uh, performances and the, the videos and things, yes, that might be the, the ideal, but... Uh, that wasn't no tan on baby girl. None whatsoever. That that was that was a brown chick. She looked like the same color as Hyoyeon from uh, Sistar. Like she looked absolutely stunning. But I was shocked, and so was she. We was just kind of like looking at each other, like mm -hmm. then the lights change. I get down to where I'm supposed to be, and then I finally meet up with my friend. I have been at home day almost more than half of the day i've got allergy issues going on everything that could happen is happening and currently i'm walking around because i was late for my seven o'clock and we double booked and my five o'clock ran over so then when i got to my six o'clock my six o'clock ran late 
But that's okay, because my 6 o'clock is cool, because look who it is. I've kept up with her YouTube channel for quite some time, among some other people who uh, magically I got to meet last year as well in other areas. Those are different videos for different times. <laughs> Whitney just had a heart attack, but that's okay. Just don't, don't pause it at that moment. <laughs> But um, just having her walk around with me and uh, just spending a few moments with me was very, very meaningful. Um, we uh, hung out in the uh, busker area, one of the um, playground areas of Hongdae. And it's like all these shops just overflowing with shops. We met at Dunkin' Donut, like this two-level Dunkin' Donut. It was all of this twice promotion stuff for uh cheer up and they had like donuts named after the promotion and whatnot it was kind of cool um but yeah we were walking around and i wanted to get a hat and we went into one of the shops and the shop owner was saying oh you know you're a very pretty girl and everything and i had my curls and she promptly took a hat and shoved that mug on my curls and so she kept my curls tamed but that's where i got my hat that has the uh the little finger heart from it i know a lot of other youtubers wear them and even retail them for lack of better terms but uh, i got mine straight from korea uh Hongdae is a very interesting spot not necessarily the spot for me but very interesting i'm i'm more so so we get back to an area with the subway because i need to start making my way back towards the financial district because i'm gonna meet up with my don't say my brother who i haven't seen in many many years uh he worked very temporarily here in houston at one of the restaurants i used to frequent all the time and i taught him english and he taught me korean in exchange i get to the subway and whitney like charts out to the best of her ability the actual directions for me and low-key hold on i might still have them in in my phone because I just I just didn't want to delete it. Hold on, let's see. Oh my god, it's still happening. <laughs> Hongdae to Yojiro Wanka. It's six stops, exit one. But yeah, like literally, I, I kept it. It's kind of blurry. I'm sorry. Let's see if I can. Yeah, but I kept the notes from from when I went. I'm so excited they're still on my phone. Uh, I saw one half a case spazzing so that was very exciting because I hadn't seen them since 2014 and um, those are my babies as well. I love them. And then I got back to my side of town and met up with Alex and commenced to get my norebang on. There. So it's like 1 a.m. I'm out with my tongue saying who I have not seen in two years. Look at him! Alex! Yeah. <laughs> My name's Alex. So, so he's he's taking a smoke right now before we go down and do Norevang. He told me he wants me to sing in English. So that means he has to sing in Hangul. So the second day was lit. I was I was up from like 4 a.m. one day to 4 a.m. the next. And then the next day was like a really big deal day for me because not only was I tired and it was like jacking with me, but I was going to one of the places I desperately wanted to go to. So we'll save that for tomorrow. All right. Bye, y'all.